Hey guys, I just want to give you guys a quick update and a little tour of the tank. Um, so what I'm running right now on the tank, I'm running a 4 bulb Aquatic Life T5 high output setup. Uh, it's got its own little timer, uh, works really well. I uh, haven't really had to tweak much of the timing on it. Uh, in this sump I have a 20 gallon sump, I got an N80 skimmer and a tons of silencer return. Uh, of course, which is returned by these up here. I uh, got two tons of power heads. Um, seems to be a uh, pretty good little setup. Uh, the only uh, other change I'm going to do to the current is actually get a uh, height or uh, pump controller and uh, see if we can play with that a little bit. Uh, current livestock, I got a six line rats, uh, as you can see there, and a uh, pajama cardinal, and there's a blue damsel also in here. Uh, most clean up crew are snails, and I have one Halloween crab here, uh, right beside my open brain. Um, so yeah, here's my open brain. Uh, moved him in this location last night. It seems to be like a little bit low tight, uh, but just for now. Uh, my plate, uh, doing really well. Uh, I got elastic here. It should spread uh, or kind of put pressure in that area and the plate's going to separate. And then it'd be uh, no stress to the main part of the plate when I frag it. And I should be able to get at least three little frags off this. Uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks. Uh, for corals, other corals that I have, I have a small money there at the bottom there. I have a uh, pulsing zinnia, the finest for it to grow all along the glass here. Uh, up here I got four torches. Uh, some of my favorite corals, uh, four different species. Uh, they're doing really well, some really good extension on everything. Uh, they were all one to two head coral frags when I got them in here. And you can tell they've stayed a little bit enough for about a month. And uh, everything seems to be doing really well. Uh, other than that, I got a hammer here that I just picked up last week. They're doing really well, also. Uh, the little guy besides, just the little guy I brought in, uh, try to bring back to life. Uh, doing a lot better than when I first picked it up, which is nice to see. Uh, two tone. Uh, another small piece I grabbed here. Uh, some, polyps, some star polyps and a uh, candy cane. Uh, doing a lot better than when I brought it in. Another piece I wasn't too well doing too well. It's a green uh, wrenching money cap. Other than that, I have my bubble coral here. Uh, doing really good. It's probably double the size since it's been originally in the tank. At the bottom right here, you can see I have a small piece of uh, also zinnia I'm also trying to recover. I have some red macro and some snails. Again, the rock roots just, you know, two fairly large pillars and a small one in the middle. Uh, lots of area for current and fish to swim through. And uh, definitely a lot of places to put corals. Again, the tank's going to be probably mainly LPS, uh, say 80% LPS, and uh, some SPS are going to be added later on. And uh, so far, the tank's doing great. Uh, had a little sinal problem, but uh, Turkey Baser helped me there. And uh, hopefully, uh, see a nice tank bloom.